What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. So I guess my Amberlynn video is going to have to wait until tomorrow. But let me just say, no one in this community should take away from Chantal actively trying to work out. No one should have anything negative to say about her going out and putting forth an effort. Because for many of us, this is all we've really wanted to see is an effort toward getting her health as a priority in her life. Now, that doesn't mean that everything she tries to do good is actually the best way of doing something. But we also have to understand that she's at the point of no return. You can really see her struggle to lower herself into the pool, to move around, even in the water. And in all sincerity, if this pool was heated, if this pool was clean like it appears to be and she says it is, if this pool can be privately booked like they imply, why is this just now something she's getting to? And Sala, to his credit, was there kind of championing during all this, telling her good job, screaming yay. I mean, yes, there's a bit of it that is odd in how excited they are about her just having basic movement it, it kind of makes awkward moments, but overall, I mean, he seems to be there to support her. But we see the reality of the situation very quickly. He struggles to lift her, even in the water. She swims like a wounded turtle. And I just want to put in perspective that her health is very poor, okay? I think that's established. It's midnight, according to them. They are here all alone. Is this really the preferred time for him to be attempting to lift her, water or not? You know, I've talked so many times about how Chantal overdoes it, hurts herself, and then limits herself. And we see a prime example in this video. It's not enough for her to go be in the pool. It's not enough for her to go swim. She has to jump in the pool. And to be fair, this should terrify most people. Number one, she's not really jumping. She's just kind of stepping off into the water. And we later see Sala in perspective to the depth of the water that appears to be no more than five feet. So the first jump she does, part of me is like, this is a really stupid idea. You probably weigh over 400 pounds. You're jumping into a five foot pool and are probably maybe five foot yourself. Your weight is going to push down. Gravity is still going to function, even though you're going into the water. You're not in it yet. You're not buoyant when you're still out of the water. If she lands wrong, we later see in the video when she jumps again, because she has to have such a large amount of clothing to cover her, her, her face gets covered by her clothing, and she jokingly says, hey, I, I thought I was going to drown. No, Chantal. You were in a position where you could drown because you were underwater with your face covered. You were suffocating. And for what? To, to prove to people online that you're able to jump into a pool? You can't see your feet. And you're walking on wet tiles. You just recovered, on your own words, from a skin disease, and now you're swimming in a communal pool. And again, I don't want to take away from the fact that she is out there, she is trying, she is putting forth effort, but at the same time, we have to keep the perspective of, it's more than one day I went to the pool. It's more than I can jump in the pool today. It is going to be months upon months upon months of every single day I'm going to the pool, every single day I'm keeping my diet in check. And we've seen with Chantal, her, her mindset tends to be well, if I can go do these things that I didn't think I can do, like go to the park and play soccer, like walk 300 steps, then I must not be as bad off as I think I am, and therefore I can continue to eat the way I want to eat. I can continue to do the things I want to do because I'm not to that point where I'm totally immobile and I'm able to surprise myself by what I can do. And I think this is the prime example. I think she's going to look at this and she's going to say, well, I was in good enough shape to go jump in a pool. No one would have thought that I could do that, perhaps even herself. Now that she can't, it's okay. She, she's got more time now. But 
as we've talked about, she talks about the end. She talks about, you know, the six pack arc, the skin removal surgery, as if it's right upon us, as if it's not four years of hard work away. You know, you can't let going and jumping in the pool. You can't let floating around in swimming like, again, a, a wounded turtle, honestly, allow you to compensate for eating all of this food. And I've just watched Chantal long enough to know that while these moments, I think as a community we look at, should empower her to a certain degree, she actually allows them to empower her in the wrong ways. She allows these moments to kind of be the barometer for, well, look at how you know great things are with what I've been doing. So if I do this, I can keep doing the things that I want and still be fine. This will just be supplemental. Right, I wasn't swimming before, and I'm okay, so now I can still do all these bad things and swim, and it's going to balance each other out. This is no different than I ordered the big meal, I got the Diet Coke. This is no different than, well, you know, I was going to have the full sandwich, but I only had half the sandwich. It's just put into a exercise-based term. And mark my words, based on all the movement she went through tonight, it would not surprise me in the least bit if we have a sciatica flare up, if we have some other type of physical ailment, and it's just pointless. It really is just pointless. You know, again, all the credit in the world for going out, booking the pool, filming it, doing it, following through on it, putting an action plan in place, and trying to be successful, but at the same time, jumping into the pool is just got to be one of the most pointless things you could do. You don't burn any more calories jumping into the pool than you do getting in it properly. But you do put yourself in a position where if you land wrong, we already know Solid can't get you out. How is he going to go get proper help for you? It's just it's just think. like Think like you're living with a 400-pound person. Act like you're in dire straits any wrong step away from a medical emergency on a good day. Put yourself in a position to stay successful. That's what's frustrating. You know, you're, you're not putting yourself in a position to continue your success. And that's why a lot of people will take your initial step as nothing more than that. Because we've seen how many initial steps. And we've seen all the failures along the way. If you've watched Chantel for years, you know how this goes. Just a year ago, as a matter of fact, we were going to the gym. And then all of a sudden, we hurt ourselves lifting weights. And then we didn't go to the gym for over a year. This pool has been in that building clearly the entire time they've been there. Now, maybe it always hasn't been open. Maybe it hasn't always been functioning. I'll give her, again, the benefit of the doubt. But what I would offer is, if you're going to go do something, do it with a purpose. And the purpose at this point, Chantel, needs to be saving your own life. Not to go splash each other in the water. Not to go frolic and see who can swim the fastest. We know Sala can beat you in almost every physical activity. What you need to do is set down goals for yourself. I'm going to go swim five laps, 10 laps, 15 laps. And then, listen, if you want to cool down in the water by kind of flapping back and forth or splashing each other or dragging each other, that's fine. But when you go out to do something with no set objective, you're not putting yourself in a position to be successful because you're just going to do it to go to do it. Keep up the good work, Chantal. Try to dial your diet back a little bit. Make this a daily thing. If you have to make content of it, then make contact of whatever you have to do to get your life back in order. I think anybody in this community will sign off on. Going to leave you at the top comments from the last video. Appreciate you watching this. Be back soon as I can with more commentary.